Yeah, I consider what I'm about to do a regular thing throughout the rest of football season. But my low and my high on Monday are going to determine as to whether or not the Cowboys win. So, yeah. My Cowboys did not win. When we really could have. You know, as bad as that was, and yes, that is my low, I actually do have a high that coincides with it. See, as you guys know, yesterday was the day that, um, you know, we officially closed up our cottage of Hugh Lake. And when my folks were done, you know, we got together and we watched the game together. And we had dinner. It was very nice. We had a, we had a roasted chickens, like little tiny chickens, uh, with mashed potatoes and salad. And uh, my mom made uh, Rice Krispie treats. So, yeah, I, yeah, I like Rice Krispie treats. I don't know why I say it like that, but yeah, I, I got to. So, yes, my low, very obvious, the Cowboys lost. But my high was, you know what, I actually got to share that moment with my family. So I guess the family that cheers on a team together also, well, we didn't cry when they lost, but, you know, we felt kind of disappointed. <laughs> oh boy. And honestly, I got like so little sleep from it last night that, hey, you know what? I've been thinking about saying it all day and I do feel a little bit better, so there's that. And my act of kindness? Well, actually, my act of kindness, speaking of my folks, I actually helped my mom set dinner up. You know, set the table, put stuff away, stuff like that. So, yeah. It was, um,. All in all, as bad as, you know, the Cowboys losing was, it was great to see my folks again. And I guess it really is sort of going back into that norm I talked about yesterday where we're no longer going up to the lake. Like, when we were going up to the lake, we had like a set routine. Actually, on good morning, happy Monday, everybody. We had a set routine. And now that the lake is closed, you know, we have no idea what that routine is going to consists of, if anything. Well, we have some idea. I mean, we're still going to be in the area for the vast majority of the year. You know, we're going to, um, uh, you know, still going. Actually, uh, Church and Corning is opening up again, finally. So, I get to start going back to church. Well, technically, I already was going to church. But, you know, now I can actually go in Corning. And whereas before I was going up, you know, in the, you know, near Cuba Lake. So, yeah, that's something, that's something to look forward to. I, I can dig it. Plus, considering how awesome this weekend was in terms of being with my family, technically for not one but two days. Well, technically I was with my entire family for one day, just with my folks for another. I'll still take it. Seriously. This really could not be a better start to another thousand days. Well, maybe, yeah, I won't wait. If I'm talking like material possessions, maybe, but honestly, this is fine. I dig it. I, I appreciate this. I don't mind it at all. And um, speaking of family, when I arrived at my folks' place, my mother was actually on the phone having a little Zoom chat with uh, her siblings, one of which was... Uh, my aunt slash godmother from Colorado. Yeah, so she has a one sister in Colorado, one sister in Massachusetts, and another brother also in Massachusetts. One's in Reading and one's in Wellesley, but that's not here or there. And uh, during dinner, my mom said, if you can name like three play, like the family wants to get together next year, which, you know, I get, I mean, I get why, you know, with our grandfather gone, we're no longer technically bound to Cuco Lake anymore as much as we love that place. So if we could get together next year, you know, what places could um, could we go to? And I mentioned, well, here's the thing. My family and I have been to Cedar Point before, but I've been to Cedar Point twice. One of which was for a choir trip, you know, when I was a senior high school. So, hey, I told you my senior year of high school was the best by far and away. And that's one of the reasons why, I guess. So, um, 
I mentioned Cedar Point, my mom mentioned that too, but then I further explained what else that, you know, my class did. For starters, well, we had to get up early, obviously, because from here, Cedar Point, Ohio is like six and a half hours away. So we had to leave at like six o'clock in the morning or whatever. Like, yeah, actually even earlier than that, holy cow. Anyway, um, on our way there, we actually made a brief pit stop in good old Cleveland, Ohio for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Museum. Or, the Rock, is it a museum? Or, or, the, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame slash museum, we'll say. So my class was then, I suggested that should we go to your point, maybe we can stop there first. And, um, Here's where it gets even better. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's, I mean, they don't call it Cleveland Rocks for nothing, so the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Museum? I mean, that would already be a pretty decent trip in of itself. I mean, it wouldn't be what everyone, I mean, museums aren't really my cup of tea per se, but I do appreciate why, like, they are appreciated, I guess. But after we went to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Museum, then we headed up to Cedar Point, my choir class and I did. And we stayed at this one hotel that's not far from Cedar. In fact, I think it's like a 10 minute drive from Cedar Point. No kidding, it had the largest indoor water park in the country. That was a fun evening. So yeah, so I suggested to my mom that first we had the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Museum and for our hotel accommodations, we go to that water park, indoor water park. And then we go to Cedar Point for the rest of however long there. So yeah. To my family who's watching, that's my suggestion. I mean, I can't think of anything better. I mean, let's be honest. We live in, I live in upstate New York, specifically the Horseheads, Corning, Big Flats, Elmira area. For whatever reason, the only thing that really comes to mind is going to Harris Hill for putt putt golf. And go karts and batting cages and driving range and there's a pool up there. And that's fun. But I, I'm guessing my family wants to do something a little more grandiose. So there we go. Anyway, I've uh, perhaps seen long enough. Let's get into some agendas today. Let's see, my money count, I'm 11 and, I'm 23 and 11 going into yesterday, let's see. So I was right about 49ers. I was right about the Browns. I can't believe the Eagles tied with the Bengals. Are you serious? How am I supposed to, I guess, one, I guess? I don't know. Um, let's see. Uh, I was right about the Patriots. I was right about the Bears. I was thankfully right about the Bills. I was right about the Steelers. I was right about the Titans. Wrong about the, wrong about the Panthers. Right about the Colts. Sadly wrong about my Dallas Cowboys. Um, let's see. Sadly wrong about the Lions too, the, the Cardinals winning. Right about the Bucks and right about the Saints. Right about the Packers, I mean. So, let's see, I wanted to get in one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, uh, 10 plus 23 is 33, and I got one tie, so that means one wrong, two wrong, uh, three wrong. So 33, 14, and one. That's my record. Now how about we get into, well, first things first. I have a One Piece manga chapter to read, don't I? Let's officially begin the countdown to chapter 1000, shall we? With One Piece, chapter 991, Let Us Die. Kind of a foreboding chapter, don't you think? Okay, let's see here. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have some One Piece character interactions with Drake after the last chapter. Very nice. I dig that. Mm -hmm. hmm. uh, that's really cool. 
Zoro and Drake fighting. Nice. All right, let's see. Huh. I love that Jinbei is part of that trio of Zoro, Frank, Zoro and Frankie, and obviously Jinbei as well. Really, don't trust Drake, and then Luffy does it anyway. But that's kind of how Luffy is. And I like him like that. Hey, uh, hey, you got some old team page one. Love seeing those two. Okay. Mhm. Mm All right. Oh. Usopp, all right. Attacking OT page one like that, very nice. All right. <laughs> Usopp hiding behind Nami, making it seem like Nami's the one talking. Classic. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. All right, let's see. Oh. oh, cool. It shows Luffy using Future Sun. You know what? I love moments like that. Because if you remember, because I talked about this in great length many times, but Luffy versus Katakuri is one of the greatest fights. It may very well be the greatest fight in the series so far. And through that fight, Luffy gained Future Sight better. Better Future Sight. And he's using it here. That's awesome. No one, man, it's such a good fight. Anyway, um, okay. Talking about the numbers again. All right. Mm hmm. All right. Mm hmm. Okay, so it looks like there's 10 numbers. Oh, goodness. I hope Frankie and Jinbei don't wind up being... Okay, folks. It looks like we're starting to get into some potential matchups for how this is going to go down. If that's the case, I hope Jinbei and Frankie don't wind up fighting one of the numbers. Because they deserve better. I mean, don't get me wrong. I appreciate the fact they elaborate on who the numbers are being, you know, experimentations and trying to recreate the ancient giants. But, I, other than that, I really don't care. But, if that ends up being, if that ends up being the case, I'm sure there's, I'm hopefully, hopefully there's going to be more good to go with it. Okay. Huh. Zoro and Drake teaming up to fight Scratch and Apu. Thank you. See, I am very much certain that another member of the worst generation is going to join the Allied Forces, probably Basil Hawkins. Not Scratch from the Pooh, though. He just seems like the kind of guy who's incredibly loyal to Kaido, so... You know... And honestly, I'm, outside of Blackbeard, I'm okay with having another person of the worst generation be an antagonist, too. So, that'll be cool. No, oh, that's nice. Okay. Let's see. Okay, we got some... Okay, you know what, that also reminds me. I mentioned earlier that, you know, Nami and Usopp are gonna fight, U may fight Ulfi in page one. I can actually really see that happen. I, I would prefer it, actually. Because here's the thing, Luf uh, sorry. Usopp and Nami are the weakest members of the Straw Hats. However, they're also the smartest. Meanwhile, you have Ulfi in page one, who really are, well, they're brother and sister, but they act like bickering children. This really could be a brain versus brawn type scenario. I'll take that all they want. Okay, you got Queen. Alright. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Jack is down. Jack is down. Okay. Got Kylo stepping in to protect his subordinate, but man. I mean, here's the thing. Jack's devil fruit is the Zozo no me, or the elephant elephant fruit, mono mammoth. So he's already a pretty big guy. 
and Kaido in comparison in his dragon form, it's like tossing around a little toy elephant. It's unbelievable. But really cool though. Plus, it's actually showing that Kaido has some noble aspects about him. Like, he'll actually protect one of his hand-picked lead performers. Cool. Oh. I can... Whoa! Okay, we finally get Nekamamushi and then Arashi's Sulong forms. Oh, they look so incredibly boss. They look so boss. Ooh. And they have a golden ratio going on in this picture, too. Yeah, Nakamamushi takes up two-thirds of the, uh, of the panel, whereas Inarashi takes up, uh, you know, one-third. So, yeah, golden ratio. Gotta yeah, appreciate that. Okay, let's see, uh... Okay. Alright. This is really cool. I don't know, Kylo's breathing fire. Kinemon for the win! Okay. This is the best Kinemon moment in his entire existence. This is awesome! This was a great way to end the chapter. And with that, the next chapter hits October 4th. No break, the countdown has officially begun. And before I end off, I have an NFL pick to make, don't I? Folks, what we have here are two teams, each consisting of an NFL MVP, Patrick Mahomes and Lamar Jackson. This, I mean, I, I know I kind of say this a lot, but that's partly because I haven't memorized the entire schedule of games by heart. But this is an incredibly hard pick for me to make. You know, I've gone back and forth on this a lot. But you know what? After thinking long and hard about this, I think I know exactly who I want. And so you guys think, Nick, are you about to do what I think you're going to do? And that's why you brought the bear? Yes, yes, that was definitely the case. Oh. So yeah, I'm picking the Chiefs over the Ravens. This should be a fun night, folks. Like, favorite, share, and subscribe button. Find me as far as you plan. I'm going to start my videos on YouTube. I am very calm. i this video for all of you guys who watch Jordan today. Hopefully, have a wonderful, wonderful Monday. Remember, if you want to talk to channel, we're going to be here to let you know when we're back. Take care and make good choices. Bye. He likes to appear. The bear likes to appear when the bear likes to appear. See ya.